<laughs> well, this next question, apparently, as I'm reading, is one that Dr. Lisa is going to answer. So let's roll the tape. Hey, doctors. I have recently tried to fireproof my house. I have smoke detectors. I even mapped out an escape route of what to do if there's a fire. I even bought a fire extinguisher, but I really have no idea how to use it. So if you guys could give me an idea of how to use it at all. And any other tips that there could be to keep me and my dog Zoe safe if there is a fire. <laughs> a fire all right, well, I don't know how that has to deal with gynecology. <laughs> well, here's, here's a but, fire extinguisher. But, this. Yeah, and I... Yeah. Okay, have you ever used one of these? No. Hey, Dr. Lisa. Uh, Get over there. Help has arrived. Take your, take your extinguisher. Oh, you got If you'd like to step over here, let me give you a hand and show you a little bit about fire extinguishers. I love firemen. Dr. Sears, can you bring that extinguisher over, please? Sure, you betcha. I'm going to teach you a little bit about the fire extinguisher today, okay? <laughs> All right. Good luck. Okay. So the first thing I want to show you, mm -hmm. go ahead and pick this up. I think you can handle that. Yeah. Uh, there's a labeling system on fire, uh, fire extinguishers. Mm -hmm. This is class A, class B, and class C. Mm -hmm. Class A uh, extinguishers are for normal combustibles like fire and wood. Class B for flammable liquids. You might want that in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. And class C for electrical equipment. Maybe something good in the garage, right? Okay. Oh, awesome. So what do you say we go and shoot, shoot some of these things and uh, we'll get you some time on the nozzle. <laughs> You can't say no to that, Lisa. No. Is our audience safe? <laughs> I, I, I hope so. Lisa needs more nozzle time. Oh, I like this. Lisa. Okay, Lisa. Okay. Nice. So we're going to go over the acronym PASS. Pull, okay. aim, squeeze, sweep. Got it? Pull, aim, squeeze, sweep. Okay. okay. I'm going to have you use this one, okay? Okay. I'm going to have you use this one. I'm going to use this big one here. Okay. Now, I'm ducking behind this you, Jim. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. So now pull the pin out. Pull this pin out. There you go. Pull. See, you're doing oh, great. Okay. Mm -hmm. so that on you. Now pick that up. <laughs> I'm clearing out. <laughs> so right. now we're going to aim. Let's say there's some burning material here. Okay. okay. You're going to squeeze the top handle down. Okay. And you're going to sweep side to side at the base of the burning material. Wow. What do you think? I think that's cool. Give it a shot. Oh! oh. <laughs> Well, the key for you little girls is hold it here and then squeeze your legs <laughs> yeah, together. This looks fun. There you go. This is the, this is the activation here. Yeah. Just hold it. The, the, the cone will get very cold on the CO2, yeah, so don't touch the so, cone. Make sure you hold it by the rubber. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, so what these do is these uh, occlude the oxygen. Because mm -hmm. to break the burning process, you have to cool the material. Yep. You have to... So that's what this does. It takes the oxygen away from the burning material. Well, this is good. This is good on <laughs> you do, on, uh, you do know, liquids and electrical equipment we use this on. Pull, yeah. aim, and squeeze, squeeze sweep. sweep. Pass. 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 Pull, aim, aim squeeze, sweep. You good at squeezing? Well, you yeah. know what? One more time. I'm going to practice as we go to break. Thank you so much.